giving you an update on Hurricane Zeta that is now a Category 2 hurricane, and it's packing winds of 100 miles per hour. And we did see this system go through some rapid intensification recently, and so that's been a big concern with the past few tropical systems that have come around, like over towards uh, Epsilon, and also talking about uh, uh, other systems in the past. They've also gotten stronger as they've made their approach towards landfall. We can see right there that this system is roughly 155 miles away from New Orleans. It's sitting just not too far offshore. You can see right there that eye starting to become nice and clear in the satellite and radar imagery. It's moving very quickly, and that's a big concern right there, as it's moving at 20 miles per hour. It's gone up just a touch from 18 to 20 miles per hour from the past update or so. And as it makes its forward motion towards the coastline, it's going to slam into the coast with a rather uh, vigorous uh, storm surge concern, also the potential for strong winds, not just around New Orleans, but also as it goes further inland and it will weaken but spread out those tropical storm force winds over time. We can see as you look through the satellite radar imagery and also the visible imagery right here as well, the system can become nice and clear out there. With us talking about the wind field, it's just starting to be noticeable of those uh, tropical depression winds in excess of 30 miles, 9 miles per hour, right on the southern coastal areas of Louisiana, still New Orleans, not seeing those strong winds just yet, but conditions will gradually deteriorate over time. The hurricane force winds still localized just about 35 miles or so away from the eye. The tropical storm force winds extend upward about 100 and 50 miles or so. So soon those conditions will start to go downhill across in the various towns and cities like New Orleans over the next few hours. But we have Hurricane Zeta right there. Should be a category two right there. But as we look back across portions of the Panhandle area, we have an upper area of low pressure right there. And these two systems are going to be interacting with each other as the low pressure is going to be aiding to pull Zeta further towards the coast, close to the coast, I should say, at a forward pace, but also bring it up to the north and east over time, deflecting it to the east as opposed to trying to bring it up to the north and west. So that's some good news right here, right here for us in Houston, but unfortunately, Bad news for Louisiana as they're about to be hit by their third hurricane of the season and fifth tropical system of the season because we had uh, Laura and we had Delta already hit it and then we had also Cristobal and Marco both for tropical storms when they made landfall. But nonetheless, Louisiana has been hit hard this season and unfortunately here comes another blow. We do have some concerns in the form of some possible tornadic weather. We have recently a tornado watch being issued across from New Orleans down and towards the mouth of the Mississippi over across towards Mobile and in towards areas just around Pensacola for instance. Further north and east you go, it's a flash flood watch where as the system races up that way, it brings all that tropical moisture along with it to places like Birmingham, Montgomery, Atlanta, and up across portions of the Smoky Mountains and Appalachian Mountains. On top of that potential, there's also concern with some uh, storm surge concerns right around New Orleans and areas just to the southeast, like towards Biloxi and even the Mobile Bay. So landfall is anticipated later on this afternoon. First, down across the coast right there, roughly about, say, 4, 4.30 or so. Then it looks to be in the New Orleans area, almost right over the city, and roughly about 6.30 as we go in towards the evening hours. Then it will continue to move at a very forward fast pace of 20 plus miles per hour, weakening over time back down to a Category 1 later on tonight around 7 o'clock just south of Hadesburg. And then as you look forward in the progression of this system, by Thursday morning, tomorrow morning, look at that. It's just north of Atlanta, still a tropical storm. And then heading on out by Friday morning, it's now well east of Cape Cod as a tropical depression. Winds are 45 miles per hour. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if this system weakens before it gets over that way. But nonetheless, it's going to be a system that impacts numerous states on its journey as it makes its way from the Gulf of Mexico out there towards the eastern seaboard. Future track looks like this. We can see Zeta right there, localized just south of New Orleans by about 100, 150 miles or so. Here is the location of the upper low pressure system and the cold air associated with it. That's why temperatures are into the 30s in places like Lubbock and Amarillo. That cold air being wrapped around the area of low pressure, dry air coming all the way down across here, just to the west of us here in Houston. We're still damp and dreary, but chilly as well. But as that system makes its way eastward, it's picking up Zeta, bringing it over in towards New Orleans, and then pushing it out of the area over time, allowing that dry air to come in behind it. But as we see that one system leave our vicinity, high pressure build on it, we'll have breezy winds coming in out of a northwesterly direction, roughly about 
15 to 20 miles per hour as we go through tomorrow afternoon and into the evening hours. But at least we'll be getting drier out and about, get the chance to see the sun come back across our vicinity because it's been a while since we've seen the sun. And then as we make our way in through tomorrow morning, look at that, we can see that system making its way in towards Virginia, bringing rain up across the Ohio River Valley, up through Pennsylvania, the New York City area. And yes, this system can even be responsible for contributing to some possible winter weather as that tropical moisture is shoved northward into a very cold air mass across northern New England. So they're anticipating snow showers out there in, in the Adirondacks of upstate New York, portions of Vermont and towards New Hampshire. Meanwhile, it's going to get drier and it's going to get cooler in the wake of Zeta's progression in throughout the southeast and heading over there towards the east coast. But as we've gone through the already uh, normal alphabet, we are now making our way through the Greek alphabet, Zeta, the latest one to become a hurricane and a Category 2 hurricane, most recently updated the graphic. Could we be seeing Ada potentially develop? Well, the system can still pop on up as we go through the next several weeks because the season doesn't officially end until the end of November. So are we going to make it through this entire list? I highly doubt that. But will we see potentially another one or two systems pop up? Well, the way the season has been so far, that is certainly possible. And there are eyes on the western, southwestern corner of the Caribbean where there's a potential, very small, but a potential 20% chance of development in the next five days. There is Zeta making its way northward. And right now, there's nothing here right now, but this is where the National Hurricane Center is monitoring the potential for some possible development with a weak wave drifting over that way over the next several days. So yeah, we're going to keep our eyes on what Zeta is going to be offering for the Louisiana area, New Orleans area over the next several days as time goes on. And we're going to jump ahead in towards that extended seven day forecast for you so we can talk about how the weather will be for us here in Houston now that Zeta is going to be pulling away from the region. And it's going to be getting drier and brighter, but colder, I may add, as we go forward in through Thursday into Friday. Look at those morning lows. 48 in downtown Houston. So if you're north and west, it'll be colder. 45 by Friday morning, but the winds will be diminishing. So that cold air will just settle down towards the surface. High temperatures both days will be getting milder into the mid to upper 60s. Average high this time of year is 79 degrees, so still running below average. But good news for any trick-or-treating plans, any Halloween activities. We're going to be seeing some glorious weather coming on. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be pleasant out and about. There's going to be very light to no winds. It's going to be a marvelous day for any trick-or-treating. Don't forget, daylight saving time ends Sunday at 2 a.m. So we have to set our clocks back an hour before we go to bed so we get an extra hour of sleep. I know that's something that a lot of people are looking forward to, especially anybody on the morning shift here. And then as you make your way in through Monday and Tuesday, Tuesday is Election Day, of course, and we'll be seeing the great weather continue throughout that time frame. I'll be coming back on the 411 at 4 o'clock right here on Channel 11 with more information about Zeta as well as the rest of the forecast right here in Houston.